Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Captain Radar. I know it's been a while since I've done this. I am going to do a what Blu-ray slash 4K movies I've added to my Plex library in the past. I don't know since since the beginning of the summer to now, because I've life life has happened and I haven't been really uh you know getting movies but that's besides the point whatever so the first one i got well actually i re-got it because i lent it out to a friend never got it back but whatever uh is tombstone which tombstone if you've ever if you've never seen it i highly recommend it it's about wyatt herb and uh doc holiday and the events that happened in Tombstone. So, it, I thought it was a good movie. I mean, you can form your own opinion on it. Uh, and this should, all, this should tell you how long ago. A handful of the movies that, I, that I'm going to show you now. That I ended up picking up the first Doctor Strange on 4K. Because I realized I didn't have it in my collection. The the first one and I picked it up watched it right before the second one it was good I mean there well there are some parts in it that I think were a little slow and whatever but that's with that's with every Marvel movie that's out there now so uh then this one I didn't re I didn't see it until it went on HBO Max thought it was good so I decided hey why not then that is the Batman and I think that this has to be one of the best uh, DC films that they've put out, especially in a while. So uh, since it's the steel book, here's the front. Here's the uh, the side. It just says the name and the the back. I think this is the first out of I think maybe three steel books that I have, and the inside isn't really anything to. Let me remove that. Isn't anything really to write home about. It's a standard steel book that has whatever. All your movies and special feature stuff and yeah. Uh the second one I picked up because I I just felt like it was Raiders of the Lost Ark. I really enjoyed Raiders. I mean, I sat down and watched it for the first time again in maybe a couple of years the other day. So, yeah, here's the front. If you can see, yeah. The side. Uh, it would be helpful if I actually show you the right way. The side. The back. And let me pull the digital code out so you don't even though it's used, is you get the, uh, all you got in this was the 4K disc and a map, uh, not a map, and a, I forget, it was either a map or a poster. So let me just pull that out. Oh, well, before I show that, here's the inside of the jacket that, yep, uh-huh, that's uh the thing, and it came with the poster. Oh, like a small poster for it. I mean, you could probably see better pictures of it online. I'm just doing a quick overview of it. Uh, yeah, that's that was that one. And then I think the same day, yeah, the same day I picked this one up, I uh, I happened to pick up the Doctor Strange one as well. So. Well, the Multiverse of Madness, I should say. That's what this one was. I, I rewatched it the other... Again, I I rewatched it, I think, maybe two days ago. The uh, uh, front, the side. Uh, it's not as good as I remember. I mean, everybody was raving all about, oh, it's, it's a great movie, blah, blah, blah. It's okay. 
And then the the inside has the two two discs. I mean, I'm to be honest, I was more probably like everyone else more excited for No Way uh yeah, No Way Home than than that one, but yeah. And then again, you have to realize during the summer what movies came out because I re bought Top Gun on 4K because I didn't have it in I didn't have it in my collection and my parents said that they had it in their movie collection so I went looking for it in our massive collection that we have and I couldn't find it so my response was okay I'll just go buy it <laughs> so, so so we now have it again and it, with my luck I'll probably find it in one of the endless searches that I do for one thing for one thing or another. Uh and then I picked up this one cuz this one which is everything everywhere all at once because I was told that it was a really good movie by a handful of the people that I watch on online may I mainly watch the John Campia show and one uh, one or two of my other friends said that they liked it. So I was like, "All right, I'll give it a shot. What's the worst that's going to happen?" I still haven't seen it. <laughs> I have it on my Plex. I have it. I just haven't sat down and watched it. But this, the next one that I have, I ended up watching twice. And this one I ended up watching, uh, I think, no, that was my, that was someone else. Uh, I watched this the day before I went to to Texas. Because I went to Texas for something. I forget what I went for. Uh, but yeah, so what this has is a slip cover that they have on it. Oh, you can see me. Hi. Uh, instead of like the paper jacket that you see a lot of people do. So it has the, the slip cover. So here's the, the front of it. Oh, uh, this is the unbearable meat. Uh, unbearable meat. <laughs> unbearable weight of massive talent it's basically nick cage playing nick cage type of movie and if you want a movie to just throw on and laugh this is your movie because nick cage usually in everything he does is funny eh, usually i mean there's some parts that aren't but i mean a lot of times a lot of times there is so yeah, I mean, I haven't really picked anything else up. I know I'm planning on picking up the rest of the the next two Indiana Jones that come out on 4K. I don't, th yeah, I think that, and then I'll have all of them. To all you people that say Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is an Indiana Jones movie, you're wrong. That was the worst movie in the whole Indiana Jones franchise, so... Knowing me because I'm a completist, I probably will end up picking it up. So, we'll see what happens. So, yeah, I just said so a lot right there. Oh, well. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one, I think. All right. Go away.